What's up gamers, welcome to your source for Diablo 4 news. My name is Luco and today we're talking about the recent announcements from the Diablo 4 developers livestream regarding Season 1 and other updates coming to the game later this month. Are there going to be zombies? Is the battle pass pay to win? Will you have to re-grind Renown when the season starts? Find the answers to these questions and many more as we break down all of today's news. Let's start off by answering the first question. Unfortunately, Season 1 does not have anything to do with zombies or any kind of zombie outbreak at all. Season 1 is called the Season of the Malignant, and will begin on July 20th with a pre-patch releasing on July 18th. As we adventure through Sanctuary after the season starts, we'll find stronger and corrupted versions of elite monsters called Malignant Monsters. When they die, they will drop a Malignant Heart on the ground, which we can then activate to fight an even stronger version of the monster along with some extras from nearby. Once that one dies, it will drop an itemized version of that Malignant Heart, which can then be socketed into your jewelry. When socketed in your gear, the Malignant Hearts will give your character extra powers that seem to be at least on par with Legendary powers. Though one of the developers said that some of the powers from the Hearts are extremely strong, so many of them may be even better than what we can see on normal Legendary powers. There will be a new character and accompanying story included with this season's events, but the story of this season takes place after the events of the campaign, and they are not connected to any of the things that we've already seen happen in Sanctuary. Up next, the developers talked about the Battle Pass coming in Season 1. They confirm that everything on the premium battle pass is entirely cosmetic, so no, the battle pass is not pay to win. There will, however, be items available from the battle pass called Smoldering Ashes that can be used to unlock these things called Season Blessings. These are permanent upgrades to things like XP gain, gold gain, class duration, and I think there's a couple others. But thankfully, all of the Smoldering Ashes on the battle pass will be obtainable through the free version, so you will not have to buy the battle pass in order to gain these power-ups. Everybody will be able to gain access to these bonuses without spending any extra money on the game. Similar to Seasons in Diablo 3, there will be Season Journeys available in Diablo 4. They consist of different sets of objectives for you to complete while you're leveling your characters through the seasons and trying out all of the new things. Completing the objectives will give you rewards like Battle Pass XP, crafting materials, and even brand new legendary powers that we haven't seen yet. You will not have to buy the Battle Pass to gain access to the Season Journey, it will be available for free to everyone, no matter what. The developers also confirmed that when the new season starts, we will not have to re-explore the map, nor will we have to go reacquire statues of Lilith that we've already gotten. Whatever progress you already have on those two activities will be preserved and shared across all characters on your account with one caveat. In order to actually have your progress spread across your characters, after the season's pre-patch releases on July 18th, you need to first log into a character that has already completed those tasks. That will register the things you've completed on that character to your account, and all of your characters will share that progress on both the Eternal and Seasonal Realms from that point onwards. When the new season starts, your characters will have all of the renown from the pre-completed tasks automatically credited to each region. You'll still have to redo other tasks like strongholds and dungeons in each zone in order to finish out their renown grinds on your seasonal characters. This means that if you want to have the smoothest possible start to the season, you should push to get all of the Lilith statues and all of the areas of the map uncovered from the Fog of War. This will be enough to get you the first two levels of renown in each zone on the map before even doing anything in the season at all which then means all of your characters will start with 5 extra skill points and 5 extra potion slots. It'll be a huge advantage at the start of the season, and leveling early on will be very smooth. After the developers concluded the stream, a patch was released to Diablo 4 that contained a long list of bug fixes and changes to 3 other things in the game. First of all, the cap for crafting materials was raised from 9,999 to 99,999, so we can keep picking up all of that rawhide we keep getting. The story bosses Venard, Kyrak, and Brawl have all had their health and damage numbers nerfed. And finally, health tie chests can now drop unique items. I'm not sure why they couldn't before, but they can now. So now health tie rewards can be even better. Are you excited for the new powers we'll get to try in the new season? What build are you going to try first when the season releases? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to see the dev stream for yourself, you can find the full VOD of it on the main Diablo YouTube channel. Or if you don't want to go looking for it, there's a link to it directly in the description of this video. That's it for today's news in the world of Diablo 4. Thank you for watching and have yourselves a good night.